Hi, I'm going to introduce you to a simple and sensible retirement income planning concept that can help you be better prepared for retirement and make sure that your retirement income lasts as long as you do. When we think about your total retirement income, picture, if you will, for a moment of your total retirement income being represented by the triangle we see here on the screen. Those of us engaged in retirement income planning know that your total retirement income consists of two distinct forms of income. The first of those forms we refer to as foundation income, and this represents the amount of income that you need to take care of your basic, comfortable expenses during retirement. The other form, referred to as discretionary income, is additional income that you desire to take care of other things in retirement, such as your travel, fun, and family. Let's look at foundation income a little more. As mentioned, this is the amount of income that you must have month in and month out to pay for the basics during retirement. However you define those basics, but as a general rule, that's usually going to be your housing, food and groceries, those types of necessities, transportation costs, important insurance premiums, and your medical costs. When we think about foundational income, we know that certainty of this income is critical. Regardless of economic conditions, this income must be protected and reliable for as long as you're alive. Discretionary income, on the other hand, is that amount of income, again, think of it as fun money, that pays for your hobbies, your travel, dining out, family assistance, that sort of thing. And while we certainly want as much discretionary income as we possibly can have during retirement, the certainty of this income is less critical than that for your foundation income needs. For example, during the course of your retirement, if the economy takes a downturn, it's reasonable for you to perhaps cut back a bit on your travel or your hobbies or that sort of thing, but you still absolutely have to pay those basic bills that is provided by the income for your foundation income needs. So again, these two types of income fulfill different purposes in the course of your total retirement. Now the planning process begins with forecasting both your needed and your desired expenses. Using a simple budgeting process, we look at what expenses will be needed during retirement and what expenses are desired in retirement. The next step is to determine what you will receive from Social Security and other secure income sources such as a pension if you're fortunate to have one, or other forms perhaps such as rental property that are very secure. At that point, we then project those expenses and your secure income sources, add inflation estimates to those, and we run those out and forecast those for the entire anticipated length of your retirement. Typically, we want to forecast those out to at least age 90 or 95. You may not make it that long, but it's a terrible time to be broke. So we want to make sure that the income will last for your entire life. This results in what we call our retirement income forecast. The retirement income forecast, amongst other things, reveals what we call your income gaps. And specifically, it reveals two types of income gaps, what we call the foundation income gap, and the other is the total income gap. Your foundation income gap is that portion of your total retirement income needs, your foundation income, that must be generated by your retirement savings. Simply put, it's simply the difference between your total foundation income needs needs and income such as Social Security or pension benefits. Your total income gap is the portion of your total retirement income goal, that is, foundation income needs and discretionary income desires that must be generated by your retirement savings. Again, simply put, it's simply the difference between your total retirement income goal and those sources of income such as Social Security. The purpose of this type of analysis is to develop a plan for the best use of your retirement savings with the goal of assuring that your foundation income gap is closed with protected and reliable income for your entire retirement lifetime. This provides certainty that your foundation income will always be met for life. Now, your retirement income forecast will answer five key questions. The first question is, how much retirement income will we need? And your retirement income forecast will show year-by-year -year detail in both graphic form and line-by-line, year-by-year spreadsheet form of exactly what your forecasted foundation income needs are, your discretionary income desires, and then, of course, your total retirement income goal, which is the combination between your foundation income needs and your discretionary income desires. Second question answered by your retirement income forecast is how much will you receive from Social Security and other secure income sources? And your, your retirement income forecast will show you the year-by-year -year detail of the projected total income you'll receive from these secure income sources. Moving on, question number three is how much is our income gap? 
Again, your retirement income forecast identifies these gaps and will show you again year by year in both graph form and year by year spreadsheet form exactly what your projected foundation income gap and total income gap may be during the course of your retirement. This identifies any potential income problem you might have and then Question number four is how do we fill that gap using our savings? Your retirement income forecast will give you one or more solid proposals of how to best fill those income gaps using your retirement savings and use your retirement savings to achieve your total retirement income goal. Finally, the question, how long will our income and savings last? Again, the retirement income forecast will show you year by year in detail exactly how long your income will last, how long your savings are projected to last, and what the total picture will look like from the first day of retirement all the way down to the anticipated end of your retirement duration, again, typically projected to at least age 90 or 95. This simple and sensible approach to your total retirement income planning recognizes the difference between your foundation income needs and your discretionary income desires. And it understands that these two different types of income fulfill different retirement goals and therefore typically use different financial tools to achieve those goals. It's intended to ensure that you will always have the retirement income that you need to remain comfortable. The premise is to provide your total retirement income goal in the least complex and most practical manner possible, but also assure that that's based upon solid analysis and planning. We like to say no guesswork in this. If you are within five years of retirement or have recently retired, don't wait. This is far too important. You need a plan, and your representative can get started on your retirement forecast right away. Thank you for your attention. We wish you a happy retirement. Hope you found this overview of this retirement income planning concept of value. I want to emphasize, don't wait. The sooner that your representative can get involved in doing your retirement income forecast, the better plan and the more options we're going to have in order to make sure that your retirement income lasts as long as you do. So don't wait. This is too important. No guesswork on this. You need a plan. Let's get started.